Welcome to Tech Notice. In this video, I'd like to share with you the five things that I don't like about my Dell XPS 15. Now, if you haven't seen what I like about the Dell XPS 15, by the way, there was 11, then check out this video up there. If you want to see the full review and my experience I've had with this laptop and some of the benchmarks and things like that, then check out up there this video. I'm gonna leave the videos also in the description for you to check it out. And if you're interested in getting this model, the link for this model is in the description as well as some of the better upgradable options. Now let's get into the list. Are you using a Windows 10 operating system and haven't activated it yet? Then click on the link in the description and purchase a Windows 10 OEM license from your cdkey.com and let's get that problem sorted. Once you've completed the purchase, the activation is easy. Hit the Windows key, type in activation and hit enter. Click on change product key, copy it from your purchase order, paste it in the product key box, click next, then activate and you're all done. Use the code TN20 to get a 20% discount on your order. Find out more about your cdkey.com, links and discount codes in the description. The first thing that I don't like is the webcam positioning. The webcam is positioned in the bottom over there. So if you do have a Skype call with someone and typing to someone, your knuckles are in the way and you're actually filming your nostrils. Second of all, I don't like that I can't open the lid with one hand. You do need two hands to open the lid. And it would be nice to have some kind of lip where your finger just goes in between, like the MacBooks have just like a little gap where your finger or your nail can go in between, whereas it doesn't have this with this laptop. You just kind of have to wet your fingers in between and get it open. Third of all is if you go with the full HD screen, I don't think is it is a very good option. In terms of the pixels, if you can upgrade to the 4K one, but I've had my full HD screen over here and I can just, I just feel the lack of pixels. Just some of the fonts feel a little bit iffy and just in terms of pixels, the colors and the matte finish, I think that is all very good, but just the pixels, it's lack of pixels. Fourth of all, what I don't like about this laptop is the keyboard. I think the keyboard could be much better, but in just my experience, what I've done is when typing, sometimes I'm missing keys and hitting the backspace, it's not deleting, hitting it again, hitting it again, which is what I don't. I don't like that. I know that there's people who've reviewed this model and said that the keyboard is quite nice. Personally, I don't like it. Maybe you do. Just my opinion, okay? Fifth of all, last of all, what I don't like about this laptop, which is kind of like picking on it, is the unboxing experience. If you want to see my experience, click up there. You can check the video out. But in terms of the unboxing experience, I didn't feel the premium feel to it. It just felt kind of like, yeah a laptop. Whereas if I did get the Razer one, I much pre preferred the Razer Blade 15 unboxing. If you haven't seen that one, which the video's up there. The first impressions kind of were meh, but later impressions were much better. But I prefer if I get a really good impression straight away. So if you are one of the Dell XPS 15 users, I'd love to know if you have something else that you don't like about your Dell. Just comment below if there's anything else that kind of know you or maybe, you know, people should know about. Anyway, if you found this video helpful or found it interesting or enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you didn't, feel free to hit that dislike button twice. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.